One move and then an explosion of tiny shards of glass, all of them shooting into your bed, your clothes, even your bath towels. Every surface in your home covered. The culprit, you sleep on it every night. And it's happened to a local family. It even forced them from their home. News 4 investigator Lauren Traeger on the hazard hiding in many mattresses. Inside this Collinsville home, a once hidden hazard now released. Millions of tiny particles wafting through the air. So it's a living nightmare. It's horrible. It's through the whole home. On their children's beds. You can see them on here. On their couch, on their clothes. Tiny glitter-like pieces of fiberglass. Now the furnace, air conditioner, you know, everything in the house is contaminated. Literally everywhere. Kitchen table, kitchen chairs, countertops, dishes. Robert Durham and Amanda Chandler devastated. Everything is destroyed. The danger all coming from their child's memory foam mattress now dumped on the driveway. You never would have thought by taking off a cover, you would destroy thousands upon thousands of dollars in your whole life. It all started when their four year old son said he was itchy, so they took the top cover off his mattress and put it in the wash. One tear in the inner cover releasing the thousands of particles. I never thought they would make a bed out of fiberglass. Ever. They'd never noticed the mattress tag showing that the inner cover was 62% glass fiber. It creates little cuts on your skin. Scott Green with Advanta Clean of Madison County has dealt with fiberglass before. Common in furnace filters and insulation, he says, it's put in mattresses on purpose to make them more fire resistant. But when it gets disrupted, it can go everywhere, he says, creating a nightmare for people it comes in contact with. People will experience, you know, eye irritation, throat, nose irritation. You may after dealing with it and not wearing, protecting yourself properly, you may sneeze a lot. Um, you may cough, uh, feel like you got a tickle in your throat. That's likely just the fibers that have gotten, fiberglass that's gotten in your body. Cleaning it up, a huge job that can cost big bucks. Depending on the situation, uh, it would range anywhere from thousands to even possibly tens of thousands of dollars. Experts tell us that fiberglass contamination from a mattress like this can really only be cleaned up by professionals. In fact, Robert and Amanda were told not even to go back into their home unless they and their children were wearing protective clothing and even face masks. Put mask on them as well. How do you do that with children? Robert choking up at the whole situation. Horrible. Worried for his family. Are you worried about the kids? Yep, well-being of my kids. At first, their insurance company denied their claim to clean up the fiberglass, but after News 4 and an attorney got involved, a, good one. a change of course. This good. week, our cameras were there as an insurance inspector went inside. They are far from alone. These shards, these little slivers of glass everywhere. A family in the Phoenix area had to move out of their home altogether, throwing almost everything out. Her children, she says, suffered health impacts. My face is burning. I can't breathe. My wife is going crazy. And videos on YouTube. As you can see, it is all over the mattress. Show others complaining as well. I would suggest you don't take them covers off. Because if you do, you're going to be in a world of the Consumer Product Safety Commission's website also listing more than a dozen complaints about fiberglass in people's mattresses. It's a hazard for anyone, whether it's a child, grown up, it's a hazard. Robert and Amanda wanted answers, so we reached out to Zinus, the company that makes the mattress. They referred us to their frequently asked questions on their website, which says, quote, the mattress cover isn't washable and removing it could inhibit the fire safety barrier, so please always leave the cover on. Why would you put it in a mattress? Robert and Amanda say the mattress cover had a zipper, and they say they did not see any instructions not to remove it. Now they want to warn others. Don't purchase them. It's really not worth it regretting the day they bought the mattress. Anything is better than a fiberglass bed in a box. We've been checking around and not every foam mattress has fiberglass, but when I heard about this, I went home and checked a mattress I have there, and it turns out there is 64% glass fiber on that inner cover. I had no idea when I bought it. Now we reached out to the Consumer Product Safety Commission. They sent us a statement saying their staff is not aware of any health risks associated with the type of fiberglass used in mattresses, which they say is different from the fiberglass used in household insulation. That's the kind they say that can cause itchiness, irritation of the skin and the throat. Still, Robert and Amanda tell me they definitely felt health impacts from the fiberglass in their child's mattress. Now, I just posted about this on my Facebook page. I'm really curious to hear what you have to say about it. Head over there and leave me a comment.
I'm Lauren Traeger, News 4 Investigates. News 4 reached out to Walmart where Robert and Amanda bought their mattress. We're still waiting to hear back.